High concentrations of radioactive cesium have been found in plankton from the sea near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Researchers from Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology collected plankton in waters up to 60 kilometers from the coast of Iwaki City in July. They found 669 becquerels per kilogram of radioactive cesium in animal plankton from waters 3 kilometers offshore. They say a wide range of fish feed on animal plankton, so the contamination could accumulate in the food chain and have a more serious impact when it gets into relatively large fish. The plankton were heavily contaminated because sea currents continuously carried contaminated water southward from the nuclear plant. Professor Ishimaru, who's the research group's leader, says detailed studies are needed to determine how long the effect on marine life will continue. A Russian ship came across a huge amount of debris from the March 11th disaster drifting in the Pacific Ocean last month. U.S. researchers say the debris could reach Hawaii by next year. The debris was found in a wide area of the northern Pacific, about 3,200 kilometers east of Japan and 900 kilometers west of the Midway Islands. Japanese fishing boats, fishing nets, housing materials, plastic products and appliances such as television sets and refrigerators make up part of the debris. A piece of a fishing boat clearly shows the word Fukushima in Japanese. Nikolai Maximenko, a senior researcher at the University of Hawaii's International Pacific Research Center, says something must be done about the debris as it could pose a threat to navigation and have an adverse effect on marine ecosystems. Japanese Prime Minister Yoshihiko Noda and Russian Prime Minister Vladimir Putin have spoken for the first time. They agreed to promote cooperation in the energy sector. Noda and Putin spoke by telephone on Friday. Putin said Russia hopes to keep working with Japan by supplying it with electricity and liquefied natural gas. Noda said he hopes an LNG plant that Japan and Russia are planning to build near Vladivostok will soon be a reality. Putin also said he hopes the Japanese diet will quickly approve an agreement on nuclear energy that Japan and Russia signed in 2009. Noda said he expects the agreement to be discussed during the next diet session. The two prime ministers also touched on the four Russian-held islands that are claimed by Japan. Noda said he hopes to work with Putin toward resolving the dispute. Japan and other nations have submitted a draft resolution on nuclear disarmament to a UN General Assembly Committee on Weapons Reduction. On Friday, Japan's ambassador to the Conference on Disarmament, Mari Amano, said at a news conference in New York, that the draft resolution was submitted by 63 countries including Japan, South Korea, Australia and the United States. Amano said the draft resolution expresses international commitment to taking joint action for the total abolition of nuclear weapons. Yesterday I announced on this program that I was going to commit public suicide. Admittedly an act of madness. Well, I'll tell you what happened. I just ran out of bullshit. All right, cut him off. It also expresses concern about a uranium enrichment plant and the building of a light water nuclear reactor by North Korea. Amano said the reason North Korea was named in the draft is that its activity is a major negative element in the security of the region. The committee is expected to vote on the resolution in late October.
presence of witnesses now, which can confirm that indeed they saw uh, activities which cannot uh, be related to uh, terrestrial activity. Terrestrial activity. Listen, I got something to tell you, and it's very important. There's a message I'm receiving from a distance. It's what I'm trying to tell you. It's coming in from another world to be passed on to everyone. Signals in the night sky from the stars or maybe from the planets. Is there someone really out there trying to find us? Do you think they might matter? 